RC Worston Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific, so let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Yes, hello, this is Eric with RC Worst once again with another video on how to do uh, multiple visibility on uh, these dynamic blocks. So here before us now is uh, a couple of uh, septic tanks. We have Larkin tanks. We have um, three different sizes, 1,000, 1,250, and uh, 1,500 gallon tanks. And we have the planet elevation views, side top views for each one of those. So um, we can uh, go forward and make this block into a, a block that has uh, multiple, multiple visibility states. And uh, so to get that done, we're going to start down here with our uh, uh, kind of uh, our blind movements. We'll be hiding these just uh, kind of for some various inputs. Uh, for reference, please refer to the uh, previous video that we've made. So here we have uh, two uh, two movements or uh, two linear distances. We'll apply movements on them real quick. Select that there. Do that again. There we go. Make things easy for us. Well, off screen, I'm uh, removing the grips. Also, adding a uh, increment on the distance. Um, increment distance one inch. Maximum of. In fact, we need to wait off, hold off on that. So this one will have a maximum of three. There'll be three views, three tanks. And on this one, there'll be a maximum of two for the two different views. Of course, this will change uh, depending on the makeup of um, the visibility states that you already have installed into uh, into this. So, what we can do: right click, visibility state, and hide for all states. So, another thing: what we do, move everything down. put this uh, down to zero grips, we won't be needing this. So grab a, a parameter, a lookup table. This one will show the user um, the basic options, the tank size uh, in this case. Off screen, adjust it, at, went up to the, uh, the lookup table. On distance one, the one with three different views, one, two, and three. Um, Anyway, so what we need is uh, 1,000 gallons, 1,250 gallons, and finally 1,500 gallon tank. So we'll uh, just repeat that process for the second one. This time, of course, we'll be doing distance to linear one two inputs, side view, top view. All right. So now here, and of course, uh, bar action, uh, B action bar mode uh, set to value zero to get to this, um, these uh, lookup tables. So here, while we're under parameters, right click on lookup table properties, click here for properties and you can add a, uh, a lookup table to the lookup table. So based off of the first values, we can um, have it look up another set of values, which is uh, really cool, really clever. So what I like to do first is, of course, go back and delete that second lookup table. 
makes it a little bit nicer for you or whoever else is that can be logged on to um, to make this look. And of course, zero groups, we don't need to be seeing this. So, start with uh, lookup table number five. And we'll be adding both of these. And here, we go off of our options. So, uh, distance one, of course, is the size. We have two each, and we have uh, two different sizes, so uh, two di two different views. So one, one, and then here we're just going to simply do one and two. We'll repeat this pattern. Word of caution: if uh, you get too far ahead on one side versus the other, it can and oftentimes does lock up on you. So I am uh, quite relieved to know that it didn't. And so this uh, this could be shorthand for you, um, whoever does it. So 1K, side view. 1K, top view. 1.2, K, side view. And, of course, a pattern repeat. Here we go. So this is uh, how it should look. All of the different possibilities, shorthand, reference notes um, on the uh, on the right hand side. So now we can move on to our final um, the final lookup table. And here we want, of course, the visibility. And this. All right. A little bit happy with the uh, escape key. Here we go. So, 1,000, side view, 1KS, next one, one, one KT, and uh, due to the power of editing, I'll uh, press pause and we'll be right back. I'll do this off here. All right, so I've gone through, added all the visibility states. So before we go too far, that doesn't have any grips. So what we want are these two tables to be visible in all states. And hoping uh, everything went well, we'll save and test. So that seems to work. And uh, going through all the different options. All right, so everything seems to work. Nice, easy, quick. Um, so it looks like a few things. Our base point got moved. We can uh, arrange those. They're a little bit nicer to... Uh, um, the alignment is a little bit nicer. So this, of course, is just kind of a, a fairly basic block, just a few uh, different states. But uh, perhaps later on we'll go through one with uh, more visibility states, say an end view, um, different options uh, while we're thinking of it. Go through, uh, show some work that we've done on um, on this valve here. This one has three. Inch and a half, two inches, different top, uh, different views, and uh, on or off state. And of course, as you go through, each one uh, varies, so uh, very cool, very clever, and uh, really makes it a lot easier to uh, to work with. Well, thank you so much for wa watching, and uh, please like and subscribe.